home cooking in Peru is of course very different than the food that you would get if you eat in a restaurant. As I think I mentioned before, you will pretty much always get, even in restaurant food, you would always get two starches. So you would get a rice and you would get potatoes, or maybe rice and yuca, or rice and pasta. Pretty much always potatoes and rice, or yuca. After all, the potato was invented in Peru. At home, you might also get a lot of beans. That's not something that you see too often in restaurant food, but in a, in a home-cooked meal, there would be, of course, beans. And with a lot of home cooking, it's not always so pretty. But yet, in Peru, because they have this great ability to decorate their food, the, even the home-cooked food will be very pretty. Some of these photos are from my, from my personal cook, so they will be a little bit prettier than they might otherwise be. And at home, of course, people will always know how to make empanadas. They always know how to make causa. And you will always be able to get a, a delicious homemade juice or refreshment, a refresco, as they would call it, as it is in Peruvian Spanish. Another thing is that the Peruvians actually like to eat a lot of stews and soups. And that is not so reflected in restaurant food. But in home cooking, there are a lot of, there, is a, there are dishes that are called seco, which is dry, just sort of like a dry stew, if that makes sense. And then of course there are stews and there are soups and there are things in between. They also have a lot of uh, regional foods, which they have taken on and made sort of home, home cooking, including the stuffed ricotto pepper, which is an unusual chili pepper because it is spicy even though it's quite large but when they stuff it they would traditionally denude the uh, the spiciness by uh, soaking it in vinegar if you don't have uh, great cooking talents you can always uh, just add palta just add avocado to anything and it will be delicious and they always know when you go to the store in peru you just tell them, I need this palta at 2 p.m. tomorrow, and they will pick one out for you. As I said, everyone knows how to make causa, and causa, of course, the famous legend is that it was made by women in the 19th century during the war with Bolivia and Chile, and it was the women saying, here, selling the causa and telling their men, go fight the cause. But actually, it probably comes from a Quechua word for potato or life. And of course, the best part of home cooking is if you can get someone's mother or father or grandma or grandpa to make it for you.